Congratulations, Mark and Laura, Donald and Sue. You're now one step closer to the final and a chance to play for our jackpot, which currently stands at 2,500. So now we have to decide who's going to go through to the final and play for that money. And to do that, you're now going to go head to head. The big difference being that you're now allowed to confer before you give your answers. And the first pair to win two questions will be playing for that jackpot. Well, very, very well done, both pairs. There's been a couple of wobbles. A couple of wobbles there, Laura, Lesotho. Um, Donal, we had stormy weather from you. No, is that right? Stormy weather, yeah. Um, I think now you can confer. I think this is going to be incredibly close. Um, best of luck to both pairs. Let's play the head to head. Okay, here comes your first question, and it concerns TV cop shows theme tunes. This is a new thing we've never done on Pointless before. It's very, very exciting. Richard. I thought, so as we've got crime writers, we crime fighters here. I thought, you know, just do something a little bit different, a little bit unusual, so we're going to have an audio round. Never had an audio round before. Everybody okay with that? <laughs> yeah? Donald, contain your excitement, please. Sure, okay, you're shaking too much. The cameras are it's difficult for the camera to follow you if you keep bouncing up and down, okay, with excitement. Uh, we're going to play you now five extracts from TV Cop theme tunes. Can you identify them and tell us the most obscure? Okay, so let's let's now reveal orally our uh, our five TV cop show themes. And here is A. <laughs> the show so far so you will get to answer first okay we're gonna go b i think it was b and say cagney and lacy b cagney and lacy b cagney and lacy say laura and mark now donald and sue mm. and name as many of the others as you like and then say which one you want to submit you think c might be colombo do you mm. i love colombo yeah, yeah, you know the answer right. at the very start but do you know the t the no. song um, I'm going to go for C. Colombo. You're going to say C. Colombo. So we have B. Cagney and Lacey, C. Colombo. B. Cagney and Lacey say Mark and Laura, let's see if that's right. Let's see how many people said it. It's right. 46. And Donald and Sue have said that C. is Colombo. Let's see if that's right. Let's see how many people said it. If it is right. Bad luck. Not Colombo, which means Mark and Laura very well done. After one question, you're up 1 0. Yeah, I will play Cagney and Lacey theme tune written by Bill Conti, who also wrote the theme music to Rocky. It's quite good, isn't it? Should we listen to a little blast from each one and I'll tell you what they are? That, of course, is the Sweeney. That would have scored you 55 points. 
we know Cagney and Lacey, so C. You thought it was Columbo, so have a quick listen. It's definitely cool, isn't it? Kojak. 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 That's great music, isn't it? It's got 12 points, Kojak. D, let's have a listen. This is the one uh, that sounds like Animal from the Muppets. It's NYPD Blue. Oh, I was going to say Blue. Rosemary and Thyme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would have been a very good answer, actually. It would have scored you two points. That's a terrific answer. It wasn't Rosemary and Thyme. No. Uh, and E, you'll know this one. What do you think? Hill Street Blues. Hill Street Blues is the answer. That would have scored you 32 points. Very well done. If you got that at home, best answer up there was NYPD Blue. Thanks very much indeed, Richard. Okay, here comes your second question. Now then, Donald and Sue, you have to win this one to stay in the game, but you will get to answer it first, so best of luck. It concerns things you find in the bathroom. <laughs> things you find in the bathroom, Richard. The trouble is you shouldn't say things you find in the bathroom to crime writers. No. Because uh, the answer is almost always corpse. Yeah. Uh, we're actually going to show you five things you might find in a regular bathroom now, but in anagram form. Can you unscramble the anagrams and give us the best answer? Thanks very much indeed. Let's reveal our five things you might find in a bathroom, and here they come. We've got Eats Hot Pot, Dear Do Not, Sand Elf Lost, Map Oso, Saucer Hint Row. I'll read those again. Eats Hot Pot, Dear Do Not, Sand Elf Lost, Map Oso, and Saucer Hint Row. There we are, five things you might find in a bathroom. Donald and Sue, you will go first. I'm going to say um, Homer soap. Hom, hom soap. Hom soap. Hom soap. I use my hom soap most days. It's a good thing to use, certainly. <laughs> um, okay, which one do you think is that? The, uh, the fourth one down. The fourth one down is hom soap. Um, okay, uh, yup, hom soap. <laughs> Mark and Laura, do you fancy talking us through the board? Well, <laughs> it'll be a short conversation. It'll be a short conversation, but at the top we have toothpaste. And the fourth one down, we have shampoo. Homsoap. No, it's definitely homsoap. Oh, <laughs> that was our second. That was our second. And that's course. obviously been where I've been going wrong, <laughs> not using the old homsoap. Yeah. Should we have toothpaste? Yeah. 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 Number one, toothpaste. Yeah, we're going to go for toothpaste. All right. Well, Donald and Sue went for homsoap. Let's see. If, let's see if that's right. No. Bad luck, which means, Mark and Laura, you merely have to be correct with toothpaste and you are through to the next round. Yep, you knew that was right. Right, 21. Which means, Mark and Laura, after only two questions, you're through to the final 2-0. Well played, Laura and Mark. Yeah, very good answer. Um, be honest, Sue, when you left the house this evening, if I told you you were going to be saying home soap on national television, <laughs> you'd have gone, you've gone mental. You've gone mental. Uh, but it is shampoo. Uh, the others right uh, would have uh, been a bigger scorer. Would have scored you 36. Now, let's take a look at the rest of them. Do you know the second one down? Deodorant. Deodorant. Yeah. That's that it. Would have scored That's 10. Do you not know the other two? Nope. Well, let's do the bottom one first. The middle one is a pointless answer. The bottom one. We have said washer. New um, shower curtain. Ah. Would have scored seven. And this one is a pointless answer. I'm quite surprised. Dental floss. Ah. Pointless Very answer. Very good. You can kill someone with dental floss. That would be a good plot for a novel. <laughs> the way I would do it is I would hide their dental floss so they get gingivitis and then it gets inflamed and uh, then they pass away. That's how I'd kill someone with dental floss. <laughs> <laughs> It's long, yeah, it took a long time, but you know, yeah. that's, um, that's the kind of criminal I would be. Thank you very much. Well, listen, at the end of our head-to-head -head round, we have to say goodbye to Donald and Sue. I mean, you've done so well up to this point, and then I'm afraid this, uh, yeah, it wasn't, we didn't give you two very good categories. Did, did you like our new listening round, though, our, our music round? I'm not too good at soundtracks and things. I, I always get them wrong, so I didn't like it, no. <laughs> 
Okay, right, there we are. So well, if at the end of the show I get killed, you know who the prime suspect yeah. is. Yeah, most certainly I do. Um, and Donald and Sue, thank you so much, babe. It's been wonderful having you on the show. Donald and Sue.